Welcome to Electron Line, and let's take a look at a simple example of how to calculate the heat being radiated out from an object at a particular temperature. Now notice that we are going to call this object what we, a perfect black body or a perfect radiator, which means that the emissivity is equal to 1. That's all that means. So when you see an example or a problem like that, then they say it's a perf perfect black body or it's a black body radiator, then we can assume that the emissivity is equal to 1. And the equation to calculate the amount of energy radiated, dq dt, is equal to the emissivity times the constant of proportionality times the area times the temperature to the fourth power. Remember that the temperature must be expressed in terms of Kelvin. So we're given a sphere of a radius of 0.2 meters. So we have to calculate the area or the surface area of that sphere. So this is equal to 1. The constant is 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. Well, that's watts per square meter times Kelvin to the fourth power. The area of a sphere, that would be 4 pi times the radius squared. And the radius, <coughs> excuse me, is 0 0.2 meters. And we have to square that. So that's the surface area of the sphere. And now we have to indicate the temperature in Kelvin, of course. 100 degrees centigrade is the same as 373 Kelvin, which has to go in here. So that's equal to 373 Kelvin to the fourth power. And now with the calculator, we can figure out the amount of heat radiated by that sphere. Now we have 5.67 e to the 8 minus times 4 times pi times 0.2 squared and times 373 to the fourth power equals and that sphere will radiate out 552 watts of energy, or 552 joules per second. Now, if the emissivity is lower, of course, this number will drop proportionally, but if emissivity is equal to 1, it's 552 watts. Now, another thing we didn't consider is that there is an outside influence. Of course, radiation will be uh, radiating away from the object at this rate. That's definitely true. But at the same time, we expect radiation to be coming towards the object from the outside. And now we have not yet calculated that. So this is ignoring the radiation that will be coming in from the outside, which will give you a different net result. So in some, in some future examples, we'll show you the DQDT net, meaning it will be the amount of heat being radiated out minus the amount of heat being transferred back into the object from the outside environment. So we'll see that in some future uh, example. But to keep things simple, the first thing we want to do is just simply calculate how much heat is radiated away from an object based upon its temperature, its surface area, and its emissivity. And that's how you do that.